Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of my hardcore survival series. We are kicking things off in the nether because I am in desperate need of netherite tools and armor. So I found myself a bastion. On bedrock condition I've died many times to picking the brutes so I had to be real careful with this one. Luckily I secured a template and hippity hopped up on out of there. Shortly after I went ahead and found some ancient debris so I can actually make some netherite and just like that we are fully decked out with the strongest gear so our chances of dying on this hardcore world has gotten even lower. Now if you guys have watched episode 1 you guys would know that my plan is to build a modern city on this hardcore world and if you guys are familiar with cities you know that every city isn't exactly the same you see cities are mostly broken down to three different categories you have the urban areas the suburban areas and then the more rural areas which is more like flat land and not much buildings. While I would love to jump straight into the urban area, we just don't have the resources and farms to do that. So we're gonna start things off in the most easy, you know, lowest hanging fruit, which is the rural areas. But in order to do that, I will need to get myself a gold farm started so I can actually automate gravel so I can get lots of concrete to build the roads. Since roads are basically needed in every single part of the city, that's what we're mainly focusing on right now. So I went ahead and got myself some turtle eggs by just breeding some turtles. And I also enchanted some gear and access the roof of the nether. Now I did kind of fail on the first attempt of making this farm because I did not know you had to be in a specific bomb to get pigmen to spawn, but I did eventually fix it and I was on my way to actually building the gold farm. It was really simple. Honestly, the hardest part was probably the magma block, which is also pretty simple. This farm is actually really easy to make. While I was building this, I did accidentally swing on one of the pigmen and I almost died. I did not have a totem in my offhand, so I'm gonna have to be careful with this one. After finishing the gold farm and the collection system, everything was set, but I do not actually have what I need to actually trade with piglins, especially since it's kinda hard to get piglins on the roof of the nether, so we might have to actually postpone the rest of this farm until a bit later. Now the reason I am focusing on the gold farm first is because lots of blocks like quartz, gravel, even blackstone that I love to use for city builds can be automated through piglin bartering. So if I have an infinite source of gold, I will literally have infinite of all of those items, including some bonus items that piglins like to drop as well. Now sadly, I will not have the resources in today's video to make a piglin bartering farm quite yet. And when I do get to that, I want to make a very, very powerful one. So I'm gonna probably save that for another video. But at least the gold farm is fully finished, so now we have infinite gold. Now for the collection system, I did not have any iron, so I went ahead and made a quick iron farm to get that so I can make hoppers for the collection system. Now with that out the way, I'm going to go ahead and start things off by building the first road of the city. And like I said earlier, I'm going to start things off with the rural areas. So the more so like, you know, flat lands, straight road, just sort of like farm buildings, not much actual like residential areas. And we're starting things off with a wood farm, sort of like a sawmill or like wood mill area in a plot of land and this is probably going to be the rural area for the entire like render distance that you can see around us and probably more so all of this is going to be sort of like farmland i guess you could say if you guys know what rural is you guys know exactly what i'm talking about but wood is going to be very important in the city and i decided i should go ahead and start things off by making a wood farm in the city so this is exactly that. Throughout this series, my goal is to try to make like one building in the city at least every video and then also make a farm. That way I'm slowly starting to tackle all the farms I need to basically just go crazy and build a ton of stuff. I mean, in the beginning, you're not gonna be able to build too much fancy stuff because you just literally do not have the resources. I have to make this building completely out of deep slate, which is pretty easy to obtain. But yeah, like I said, no, no really fancy blocks like quartz or anything like that. Once we get farms for those, trust me, the city is going to really start to blow up really fast. Now for this building, I actually got inspiration from a Google picture of a barnuminium. I actually really like barnuminiums and the style. And this is basically just like a black barnuminium that I saw online. And I thought it would look cool to make into a like wood mill sort of build. We didn't even get the building finished before we had solicitors pillagers were already trying to knock down the door ladies and gentlemen the time lapse is finished we have built the building now i don't even think i said what this exactly is going to be uh i had an idea of making this kind of like a like sawmill building sort of thing so it's basically going to produce lumber for the city and i was planning on making a wood farm inside of here somewhere now the issue that I'm now starting to understand is the fact that this might not be big enough in the interior to actually make a wood farm so we might have to actually go underground to make that. Which is fine because honestly I would like to be able to decorate the inside of this and make it look more like a wood factory instead of this weird you know redstone object kind of just sitting smack tab in the middle of it so yeah I think we're gonna probably have to clear a bunch of space underground 
and get that going so that's basically the last goal for today's video is just to make a bit of a wood farm because i am running out of time with this one and uh yeah we, we, we did a lot in today's episode let me think we already did the gold farm gold source system iron farm collected a bunch of resources cleared out a bunch of land made a road and made a building with a little bit of landscaping as well yeah we, we, we've done quite a bit in this episode so far so yeah i think now all there really is to do is just to clear up space beneath us so I mean, I kind of looked at some tutorials, and I would like this, by the way, to be a, um, like, 12 tree farm. So I want to be able to get all trees automated with this farm. Now, while I'm here, instead of doing a time lapse, I'm going to just chat with you guys a little bit. Because there's something that's kind of been on my chest about this hardcore series. And that basically is the fact that I don't really want to use any forms of duplication within this series but i think the only exception we're going to use is a tnt duper yeah um I, I think tnt duper is the only thing that i would be able to use in here only because like i'm not actually gaining a bunch of other blocks with that i still have to make a farm that like produces other blocks so i think a tnt duper is the only thing that i'll be allowed to use and that goes for tunnel boards as well but anything like uh sand duplication glitches with the nether portal or end portal i'm not going to use those i'm just going to gather my sand and gravel all manually sand and gravel in my opinion is not that hard to obtain especially if you have a piglin bartering farm which we're going to be trying to work on the next episode probably so yeah that's going to be taken care of pretty soon but yeah um this farm honestly is going to be a little bit annoying because it does have to be like 50 blocks tall so we're going to have to dig down like a 50 by i'm gonna just say 20 by 20 area just to be safe and uh yeah that, that might take me some time so i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right guys we're back and we have gotten the entire wood farm finished now uh i did have to kind of poke this at the top because i did not make the hole deep enough which is pretty deep it's like 45 blocks deep but sadly i kind of miscalculated but it's fine i'm sure we can find a way to kind of make this look decorated in this area so that's perfectly fine and everything does work i already tested it out uh we basically are finished and by the way, guys, this is not my design. This is not, like, my idea. I have a link in the description to this wood farm. Uh, this is not, like, any sort of tutorial. But this right here is going to allow us to get basically any wood type. I do have to make a couple of modifications to get mangrove wood, which I do want to build with in the future. But for now, I can get most wood types. Now, I don't really have, like, much bone meal or any way to get bones right now. So I did make a bone meal farm over here. It's not the fastest thing. It does need some time to sort of become self-sufficient before it can produce a lot of bone meal. But it's doing all right. I've only been AFK for, like, 10 minutes. And I had to kind of, like, let everything catch up. So now that this is finally, you know, stocked with some bone meal, it can actually start, you know, putting some in here. So I might AFK over here for a couple of days and see just how much we get. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can actually get a lot so we can, you know, get a bunch of bone meal in here and get a bunch of wood. Uh, this is basically never going to really be turned off. Like usually I turn farms off when I don't need them. But since this is at a bit of a slower rate, I will kind of just let things, you know, go for a while. And if I really wanted to, I could stack this farm up multiple times and just make more versions of this farm so it's more efficient. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. But just to demonstrate how this works, let me grab some saplings. Oh, uh, here we go. Saplings. We already have some bones here. So yeah, you just need saplings and bone mill and that's basically it. Just TNT dupe at the top. So it duplicates CNT and basically just blows the trees up as I place them. I think it's this way. Uh, like, nope, wrong way. This way. Click this lever and it started. Just do this, grow it, and then the TNT falls down and it's going to blow up the tree. And it's honestly pretty awesome. I did actually forget that there are tree farms in Java Edition. Like I said in the last video, I am basically like a bedrock player. So the fact that we can automate... Uh, you know wood and java edition is honestly very very overpowered i might make a more efficient bone mill farm in the future but for now i feel like this will suffice like i said i'm gonna be afk here for a while so it's no big deal um i can go ahead and do this off now yeah that's it's as simple as that we're gonna start collecting some wood hopefully we're gonna get oh ooh, 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 ooh. hello yeah, yeah yeah i don't want you around here yeah i need to light this place up more also yeah i forgot to mention i gotta go around to, like light this place up decorate it because it's just a bunch of stone and granite and gravel and stuff and make it look more nice in here more industrial looking but sadly i'm gonna have to call it for today's episode because we have spent quite a bit of time on this one uh we have some upgrades to make in the next one but yeah i think oh yeah i forgot there's a creeper hole over here yep gonna have to fix that eventually soon but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace love and understanding always